In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 best places to visit in Europe. Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Colosseum, Italy. It was formerly known as the Flavian Amphitheater, and it was used as an arena for gladiator battles and other such events. Actors dressed in gladiator costumes and ready for photos still roam around the Colosseum. Though certain parts of this iconic structure have deteriorated over time, most of this amazing architectural wonder remains intact and well-preserved. And if you are a fan or student of architecture, there is a lot for you to learn regarding how these massive structures were made hundreds of years back without the use of any technology. The Colosseum looks even more breathtaking in the night, with all the lights illuminating this already beautiful structure. The Colosseum symbolizes Italy, especially Rome. Number 9. Grand Canal, Italy the Grand Canal spans over two and a half kilometers and runs through the city of Venice. The inner city waterway is about 300 feet wide in certain areas, which is important because it can accommodate up to 5,000 boats each day. I mean, you haven't been to Venice if you didn't get on a boat. This is how people normally travel in Venice. The Grand Canal is possibly the most decorated section of the river, with stunning historic buildings lining up on both sides of the waterway. The majority of the incredible buildings are only accessible by boat, but the repeated water splash caused by boats causes structural damage. So, you should visit your favorite buildings before the foundation of those buildings get ruined by the water and Venice is a sinking city. So, hurry up before it is too late. Number 8. Lanvasa Viaduct Bridge, Filisur, Switzerland if you are looking to visit the most naturally gifted country in the world, you should head to Switzerland. The landscapes, mountains, and greenery are so beautiful that Switzerland is one of the top tourist destinations in the world. If you are visiting the beautiful country, you should definitely hop on a train to witness the view from Landwasser Viaduct Bridge. The Landwasser Viaduct Bridge, the Landwasser River, at a breathtaking height of almost 200 feet holding a single track rail line. Given that it was built well over a century ago, its six arch structure is an amazing architectural design. The Landwasser Viaduct Bridge is one of Switzerland's most popular tourist attractions. Why? Take the train and go across the country. It'll be the most terrifying and exciting experience of your life, and it is definitely worth a try. No roller coaster comes close to the kind of horror this train ride causes. Number seven, Blue Lagoon, Iceland. If you are a fan of hot baths, then you should visit Blue Lagoon in Iceland. It's a one-of-a-kind geothermal spa that stands right in the center of a rather scary and, well, really hot lava field. It may appear alarming at first, but after you see it, you'll realize why it's such an amazing destination for tourists. Although it is a man-made lagoon, it is home to beautiful, calm white waters, and a nearby lava flow causes the water to get nicely warm and cozy, which is a fantastic treat for your body. It's rich in minerals, silica, and other minerals that will replenish your body and even aid in the treatment of some skin issues. And apart from the health benefits, this is probably the best public pool you'll ever visit. It is not very crowded as well because Iceland has a very low population. A very calm and relaxing experience indeed. Number 6. Kieserskraut, the Netherlands. If there is one thing that you should do before you die, it's riding a bicycle in the streets of Amsterdam. The best place to go for a bicycle trip is near Kieserskraut, popularly known as the Emperor's Canal, and it's the widest canal in Amsterdam, measuring 100 feet in width. This canal is lined up with 500-year-old buildings, which have been converted into luxury apartments, but the buildings still maintain their original structure. Cycling on such beautiful streets is an amazing experience, and many riders will join you as it's a normal thing in Amsterdam to ride bicycles. And you will see many riders on the roads and in the streets. In winters, the canal freezes, and you can skate down the canal bridge. How cool is that? Number 5. Oya, Greece Greece is a wonderful country, and wherever you go, you will have a great time. However, if you only have time to visit one city, one town in a country, we recommend you to visit Oya. Oya is a village located in a volcanic cauldron on the Greek island of Santorini's coast. While the village's houses are painted in bright white and blue colors, the village's history can be traced back to the beginning of the 11th century. The majority of Greek monuments are either ruins or gradually falling out of form. Oya is a Greek village that has been preserved so well that it looks like the village never ages. When you're there, you'll see the best of Santorini and Greece. Number 4. Eiffel Tower, France Really? Do I need to tell you about the iconic Eiffel Tower? Well, yes. 
So the Eiffel Tower literally towers above the city of Paris, which not only happens to be the capital of France, but it's also the capital of romance. The Eiffel Tower is over a thousand feet tall, and even though many countries try to replicate the Eiffel Tower, all of them failed in doing so. This iconic monument took two years to build, and it was built and inaugurated just in time for the 1889 World Fair. One always wishes to witness the whole city of Paris from the top of the Eiffel Tower, and it's a sight you must see before you die. Number 3. The Goyes du Verdon, Southeast France This is hands down the best place for you to visit if you are a fan of canoeing and other water sports. The Goyes du Verdon, carved from solid rock by the Verdon River's roaring waves, spans for nearly 15 kilometers across the French countryside. The Gorge Cliffs, which tower over 2,000 feet above the icy blue river water, are just one of many things that are amazing about Gorges du Verdon. The water is so clean and clear that it won't be a problem even if you end up drinking it. Even though canoeing here is fun, it is also really tough as the waves here are a bit too violent, and it requires you to be in great canoeing form as this river has flipped many boats every single month. Plus, canoeing between two massive cliffs is an exciting experience itself. If you are a guy or a girl who likes thrills, you should visit this place once in your life. Number 2. Stonehenge, United Kingdom Stonehenge is one of the most mysterious places on the earth, the kind of place that you just see and wonder. How did this come into existence? It makes you question nature and learn about its mysterious past, which is why it is one of the best places to visit if you are a curious person. Because, as a matter of fact, this mysterious structure came into existence back in 2500 BC, more than 5,000 years ago. Heavy rocks are balanced on each other in a semi-organized pile in the middle of a valley. It's uncertain who put them there what they were used for, or how they were all carried and placed. A guided tour will take you around the site, and you'll be amazed at how beautiful Stonehenge looks during different parts of the day. Stonehenge is definitely a place you should visit. Number 1. Plevis Lakes, Croatia at Croatia's Adriatic Sea coast, you can find the Plevis Lakes, and trust me when I say this, this is one of the most beautiful lakes in the world, if not the most beautiful. These lakes are just on the border between Zadar and Croatia's capital, Zagreb. Local tourists often come here to spend their vacations in a calm, silent, and naturally beautiful environment. So, these lakes consist of 16 water bodies that are interconnected with each other. There are a variety of fascinating bridges, beautiful trees, and crystal clear waterfalls around these water bodies. Surrounding these beautiful lakes is an age-old emerald forest that holds wild animals like birds, wolves, bears, and more. So be careful about some unwanted and well-intimidating friends interrupting you while you are having a great time. There are a variety of paths over here. Some are natural and some are man-made. You can also have a nice Photoshop on the bridge. Plus, some ferries help you in exploring every single part of this network of beautiful water bodies. The depths of these lakes can range from 280 meters to more than 1,000 meters. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, press the like button. If you think that we missed out on some other important places in this video, do tell us about that in the comments section. Also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates. Till then, see ya!